1. The primary pacemaker of the heart is the A. AV node. B. Purkinje fibers. C. Bundle of his. D. SA node. 2. The P wave on an ECG represents A. Atrial depolarization. B. Ventricular depolarization. C. Ventricular repolarization. D. Atrial repolarization. 3. The QRS complex reflects A. Atrial contraction. B. Atrial repolarization. C. Ventricular depolarization. D. Ventricular repolarization. 4. Which component of the conduction system delays the electrical impulse to allow ventricular filling? A. SA node. B. AV node. C. Purkinje fibers. D. Right bundle branch. 5. Normal resting heart rate for an adult ranges between A. 30 to 60 BPM. B. 60 to 100 BPM. C. 100 to 120 BPM. D. 120 to 140 BPM. 6. A PR interval greater than 0.20 seconds suggests A. First degree AV block. B. Normal sinus rhythm. C. Junctional rhythm. D. Ventricular tachycardia. 7. A wide QRS complex greater than 0.12 seconds is often associated with A. Atrial fibrillation. B. Sinus bradycardia. C. Ventricular origin rhythms. D. Sinus tachycardia. 8. What is the standard duration of a small box on ECG paper? A. 0.01 seconds. B. 0.04 seconds. C. 0.20 seconds. D. 1 second. 9. How many large boxes equal 6 seconds on standard ECG paper? A. 10. B. 15. C. 20. D. 30. 10. 1 millivolt 1 mv is equivalent to how many vertical boxes on ECG paper? A. 5. B. 10. C. 20. D. 25. 11. Which arrhythmia is characterized by no identifiable P waves and a regularly irregular rhythm? A. Atrial flutter. B. Ventricular tachycardia. C. Atrial fibrillation. D. Sinus arrhythmia. 12. What distinguishes ventricular tachycardia from supraventricular tachycardia? A. Narrow QRS complex. B. Irregular rhythm. C. Wide QRS complex. D. Visible P waves. 13. What is the rate of atrial fibrillation typically? A. 60 to 100 BPM. B. 100 to 160 BPM. C. Variable and irregular. D. Less than 40 BPM. 14. A sawtooth pattern on ECG typically indicates A. Atrial flutter. B. Ventricular fibrillation. C. Junctional rhythm. D. Sinus tachycardia. 15. What rhythm is characterized by three or more premature ventricular complexes in a row? A. Idioventricular rhythm. B. Ventricular fibrillation. C. Ventricular tachycardia. D. Sinus arrest. 16. The most commonly used lead in rhythm monitoring is A. 
Let I, B, lead 2. C, lead V1. D, lead 3. 17. Where should the right arm aria electrode be placed? A. Lower right abdomen. B. Right clavicle area. C. Left lower rib cage. D. Left shoulder. 18. Artifact on an ECG tracing is most commonly caused by A. Pacemaker malfunction. B. Electrical interference or patient movement. C. Myocardial infarction. D. Bradyarrhythmias. 19. Which of the following is a limb lead? A. V1. B. AVL. C. V5. D. V6. 20. The V1 chest lead is placed. A. Midclavicular line, 5th intercostal space. B. 4th intercostal space, right sternal border. C. 2nd intercostal space, left sternal border. D. Apex of the heart. 21. A. Systole presents as A. Rapid wide QRS complexes. B. Sawtooth P waves. C. No discernible electrical activity. D. Irregular atrial contractions. 22. What is the immediate intervention for ventricular fibrillation? A. Vagal maneuvers. B. Defibrillation. C. Four fluids. D. Cardiac massage. 23. Pulseless electrical activity PA is identified by A. A normal ECG with no pulse. B. Chaotic baseline. C. ST elevation. D. Wide QRS with pulse. 24. A prolonged QD interval may lead to A. Sinus tachycardia. B. Torsades de points. C. Atrial fibrillation. D. Sinus bradycardia. 25. Which medication is commonly used in treating bradycardia? A. Adenosine. B. Atropine. C. Amiodarone. D. Epinephrine. Certified Rhythm Analysis Technician. The Certified Rhythm Analysis Technician CRAT test is a professional certification examination offered by Cardiovascular Credentialing International CCI that assesses a candidate's knowledge and skills in cardiac rhythm monitoring and electrocardiographic ECG analysis. Designed for healthcare professionals such as telemetry technicians and monitor techs, the CRAT test evaluates proficiency in cardiac electrophysiology, arrhythmia identification, ECG interpretation, and patient monitoring protocols. Earning the CRAT credential demonstrates a technician's ability to accurately recognize and report life-threatening cardiac rhythms, contribute to effective patient care, and operate within clinical and hospital-based telemetry environments, making it a valuable asset for allied health careers. Here are the top five beneficial uses of the sample exam. 1. Career Advancement. The CRAT certification enhances your professional qualifications, opening doors to roles in telemetry, ECG monitoring, and cardiac care across hospitals and clinics. 2. Clinical Competency Validation. It verifies your ability to accurately interpret cardiac rhythms and recognize arrhythmias, ensuring safe and timely patient care. 3. Industry recognition, earning the CRAT credential demonstrates to employers and peers that you meet national standards for rhythm analysis, increasing trust and professional credibility. 4. Increased job marketability, certified technicians are more competitive in the healthcare job market, often preferred by employers seeking skilled ECG and telemetry staff. 5. Continued professional development. The CRAT encourages ongoing learning in cardiac monitoring, helping technicians stay updated with best practices and new technologies.